Hello everyone. I hope you can hear me, you can see me, and the sound is good, picture is good, you are good, and uh, let me see if I connect it or not. Bruce, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Samach, good to see you. Well, <laughs> not really, I don't see you. You see me, but not me. Jan, good to see your comment. By the way, uh, if you're not commenting, I can't see who's watching. Uh, I'm connecting from multiple um, platforms uh, on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, on Twitter, on, you know, multiple platforms. But anyway, if you're watching me on... Um, uh, let's say um, on Facebook or Twitch or Twitter, it's better to go to my uh, YouTube channel. That would be uh, just uh, YouTube forward slash in my last name Grabovetsky, and that would be probably the best place. Uh, but anyway, all right. Uh, good to see you, wonderful people. Good to see you. Uh, so, uh, just came back um, from Mark Adams School of Woodworking. And we had two classes. And as you see, I have absolutely nothing on my workbench. So I took what uh, was on it. I was working on the parts of uh, my Venetian style uh, project. And uh, now they are done. And I'm ready actually for the next <laughs> parts. Okay, for the next part or parts. Because they're, good, they're going to be just the multiple parts. Uh, but anyway, so that's why it's... Um, just empty bench and I'm playing around with my iPad and I decided to just uh, go live for a little bit okay so uh, but anyway I hope you're doing well uh, now like I said uh, I just came back I just came back from Mark Adams School of Wood uh, Working uh, which is uh, <laughs> Uh, renamed right now it's not only woodworking but traditional arts they do more than woodworking even just the chocolate making Ernie good to see you Rostam здравствуйте John I said already probably <laughs> already said that <laughs> to you Giri good to see you so wonderful people let me tell you uh, what we had okay I'm not gonna carve today because uh, like I said I'm uh, uh, I, I am getting ready for the next part of my project and uh, I spent all day long today uh, in my garage just uh, doing uh, just roughing out and planing uh, and uh, gluing up and so on and there's nothing to show uh, it's just the two columns actually four columns but uh, uh, two gonna be um, uh, similar and another two is gonna be a little different so but uh, let me tell you about um, uh, last week uh, I came back on Sunday, pretty much it was already Monday, I came uh, about uh, 1.30 a.m., uh, you know, when I got home. And uh, I had uh, two classes in Mark Adams School. We had two classes, and Bruce, <laughs> who's watching right now, he was part of both of those classes. I hope uh, you liked that. Um, and uh, I'm really excited that uh, people who took those classes they they did really great job okay uh, most of the people actually i should say have done really well uh, some of them better some of them not as uh, you know good but uh, you can you can just see i can show to you a picture what they've done and uh, you judge okay you be judge okay if i'll be able to click it <laughs> somehow Somehow, all done. Yeah, right there. So that is uh, uh, the project we worked on. And uh, you, you can look uh, a little longer if you wish, but I, I'm really happy with the result. Uh, what we worked on, it was Grillen Gibbons, true Grillen Gibbons, 17th century. Uh, style of wood carving. Uh, what we did, we took existing frame, uh, which is uh, located in museum in England, and we took just the left side of the frame, and just one section pretty much, uh, and we carved that. Uh, yes, it's a layered carving, and like I said, everybody's uh, 
done really well. Uh, and uh, as you probably understand, uh, you know, so it's all about uh, uh, talent. It's what I'm saying. But the talent, I like that saying. The talent determines uh, what you can do. Your motivation determines how much you are willing to do. And your attitude determines how well you do it. Okay. So that is uh, pretty much <laughs> those people. Okay. Talented people uh, came. Uh, they had some motivation uh, to do some stuff. And uh, they paid money pretty much. It's not that cheap to get uh, one week class and uh, we've done uh, really well so now we also uh, had uh, had this some session about the design and so on i'll tell you what we covered uh, but it's always precious one of the things i can uh, tell you uh, one of the people uh, old friend of mine he's actually taking classes pretty much all the time five years in a row multiple classes a year it's already for him it's a second class this year uh, so he took my class in april and now he came in july in april we were working on flowers okay and uh, he brought card and that wasn't from him it was his wife okay and the uh, wife said thank you very much for such a wonderful project but matter of fact let me find it i think i i kept it right here somewhere so Hold on, I can show probably that to you. So that is the card. Thank you for teaching such an amazing project. I love the flowers. And I hope Richard will come more, uh, carve more of them for me. Regards. And uh, she signed the, you know, uh, that card. But uh, stuff like this makes me happy. You know makes those people happy and uh, i love it i love it but not only that uh, one of the people who took class uh, uh, this time uh, we had two classes one of them was brilliant gibbons and the second was uh, low relief carving which we didn't have a time uh, to finish because it was only pretty much like one day and a half uh, so that project uh, i'm i'm not done even with that project but that's what we worked on uh, it is 18th century French style, furniture style, I should say, carving. And that is how it's, well, let me show you from a different point of view right there. So that is how it's supposed to look pretty much. But like I said, uh, we didn't finish it because we were limited. How much time we had, okay? Uh, so one of the uh, guys uh, who took my class, uh, he wrote me email, all right? And uh, uh, you can read that email, but what I like about it, so let me see if I, I'll be able even to read it. Um, uh, but uh, this person is a mathematician, okay? Not just mathematician, he is a professor for over 40 years uh, teaching math, okay? And he came just because he was reading about Fibonacci's sequence in description of the class. And uh, Fibonacci is just uh, one part of design process, okay? So why is that important? Uh, why is that important? Uh, because uh, 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 there is a problem, okay? In the modern world of art, not only wood carving, but modern world of art, people have no idea, have absolutely no idea uh, the design process, okay? Uh, what I'm talking about, we all have a problem. When we're designing something, uh, we we want to make sure it's organic, it's uh, pleasing to your brains, to your eyes, and uh, most of the time in schools you limit it to just one of the principles, which uh, uh, probably most of you know about the golden ratio, and I mentioned that all the time uh, in my live streams. Golden ratio is really important, but golden ratio is just the one, okay, just the one small part out of multiple, and by taking my class. Uh, uh, this person, he, uh, it's just like an eye-opener. Uh, he looked at the world of art absolutely from different perspective. Uh, yes, uh, we covered that in person. I do have also online on my school site, schoolofwoodcarving.com, uh, those principles, but I call them like a Ten Commandments. And I can probably, uh, I can read some of it, uh, what we covered. If you just give me a second. If I'm looking away from a camera, please forgive me because, uh, you know, I'm looking at my screen. 
which is a little below me. So, but anyway, so what I call, uh, it's uh, pretty much like a Ten Commandments, all right? Uh, Ten Commandments of uh, design. And uh, uh, those Ten Commandments, those Ten Commandments, uh, uh, it's like a foundation. It's not all, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's not like uh, uh, if you know those Ten Commandments or Ten Principles, if you wish, uh, of the design what we covered. Um, uh, you can expand like a tree in uh, each of them. Uh, but what we covered, uh, it's like uh, movements. Let's say the horizontal movement. How important is that? What you're starting? Is it going to be from the left to the right or, or right uh, to the left? Does it matter? Yes, it does. It's the same like uh, you reading. Uh, if you read from the left to the right, like most of the Western, uh, Western world does, so probably most likely you should start uh, your movement of your design uh, same direction. And let's say if you're reading from the right to the left, if you're in some uh, Middle East, most likely uh, for you, more pleasing for your eyes, it's going to just uh, take the horizontal movement from the right to the left. Okay, so uh, we covered uh, um, vertical movement. Is uh, like uh, well, you look at the work of uh, famous um, artists, and uh, you can see uh, the movements. Uh, it can grow, it can grow up, or it can fall. Okay, so we covered um, uh, diagonal movements. There's the two diagonals in every design. There's uh, one we call baroque, another one sinister. So, and we covered that. Uh, we covered, I'm not going to tell you exactly what, what it is because it takes like a, almost half a day to cover it. But anyway, so which do, of those diagonals going to be a dominant diagonal? So diagonal dominance is really important. Uh, the whole design is going to be structured on that. So we covered pretty much the golden ratio, the golden cut, divine cut, if you wish, or golden spot. Okay, what is going to be the main big idea of the design? We covered that uh, in that session uh, when, uh, you know, I'm talking about right now the class uh, what we uh, had last week and I also uh, did the same thing uh, in Maine, in Camden, Maine, in uh, Williams Brown School of uh, Woodworking, great school by the way. And uh, uh, we covered uh, another commandment which is a golden point but it's not going to be the same as the golden point, the main one. So this one is uh, like uh, antagonistic. So, you know, there's uh, not only one golden point in, uh, on a canvas in, one, uh, in a design. So we covered uh, the second. We, cover, we covered the third and fourth. And uh, yes, I misspelled my fourth and fourth, so I have to fix it. But it's okay. So you get the point. So we've got, uh, uh, we covered the surrounding uh, space. It's really important what is around uh, the main idea. Uh, we also talked about arabesque uh, curvature. So nothing is straight in nature, in creation, and uh, how is it applicable to uh, principles, principles of the design. We also talked about the rhythm or repetition, same like in music. If you wish, it's uh, like a motif, okay? Uh, if you take a look at, um, if you're gonna listen to the music, like a classical music, uh, you know, you, you will find the chunks which actually repeats on its own, but the, with the different variations. So that, that is what we were talking about, okay? So that was uh, uh, pretty much a class uh, what we did, okay? Uh, and uh, it's just in short, okay? Like I said, uh, if you wanna uh, come and uh, take those classes with me, uh, I'm not uh, selling anything, by the way. I'm not pushing the idea, but you'll be able to understand little deeper stuff that is not easy to find in books. Yes, uh, there are some books about it, but uh, most of the time it's really hard to find the answer. You have to read, I don't know, uh, you know, like hundreds of books to just to get the chunks, the small chunks, uh, you know. Uh, and yes, I mean, if you have time for it, uh, I'm okay, uh, which uh, I read anyway every day pretty much, and uh, I can find uh, all of those answers. Uh, covering all those diagonals, all the arabesque movements, all the Fibonacci sequence and so on. How is that applicable uh, to uh, my wood carving world and so on. But think about it, okay? We just uh, cover, covered that thing in a half a day. Or I do have a, a little deeper uh, on uh, schoolofwoodcarving.com. Uh, I, what I did, I filmed the whole process class in person in state of Maine. Uh, Williams Brown School, and uh, I 
chop that in a small segments and it's available on my school site. I'm not going to tell uh, all, uh, all of that uh, on YouTube because or Facebook because it's not going to be fair uh, to people on my school site. But if, if you want to be able to design, if, uh, even just that to get an answer, why is that design, the, those fine arts, why is that design the way it's designed to get an answer to your why question? So that is probably you will be able to after watching it or after signing uh, for my uh, in-person class. So, so that is uh, um, a little uh, update. By the way, every time, if you look uh, right behind me, and I've got some more, right behind me, some uh, collection of uh, mallets. Um, every time when I go to Mark Adams School, multiple classes at the same time also taking place okay and one of them usually it's a turning wood turning and some famous wood turner would teach a class and this time it was uh, john beaver uh, so he is um he has uh, his signature style uh, of wood turning what he does on his vessels and uh, every time when i go there if there's uh, some person teaches uh, wood turning they make a mallet for me it's almost like became tradition so and i brought multiple this time i brought this mallet and let me show that to you okay really interesting looking one okay so that is the mallet uh, made by john beaver i call him john bavir because i know another person he's a writer and uh, we pronounce him John Bavir, but uh, the spelling is the same. But the way they pronounce it, a little different. So, uh, but look how nicely it's done. Uh, is that practical for me to use? Oh, absolutely not. Okay, I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna use it for the wood carving. It's uh, more, I would say, uh, for collection than anything else. But it's a nice looking mallet. Okay. So that's going to be a stain right on my shelf. And the uh, last time in April, I had uh, this beautiful thing made for me. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me show that closer to you. So it's a uh, resin with some burl. So it's a beautiful mallet. Okay, beautiful mallet. I, I also have a spalted, a spalted mallet uh, done by another instructor. Uh, by Sira, and that is a, a true spalted wood, so it's not painted, okay, so it's not fake, it's a real uh, spalting going on, okay, so it's a real fungus, okay, so that is a spalted uh, mallet. I'm not using those mallets, uh, like I said, but it's a really interesting, um, not really interesting, but uh, I should say it's um, one of those things that what I like about uh, going to Mark Adams school, somebody's making for me a, a wood carver's mallet. Okay, so that is the, the thing. I like it. But let me read the, some of the comments. So I gave you a little update. Uh, I just decided, uh, you know, just uh, since we do have a bad weather outside uh, today, like I said, I spent all day long in my garage just machining everything and just getting wood ready. But uh, I think uh, it's a good you know, it was a good time for me to just tell you about the last week. Okay, let me see what I missed. Richard from uh, California. Good to see you. Tiny effort. Hey Alex, looks like a fun class that I missed. Yes, it was a it was a really fun class, okay? And not only that, let me let me let me show that again, okay? If I'll be able to click on it somehow. Not that. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. But anyway, so if it's gonna show up, uh, it's good. If it's not, please forgive me. Right there. Okay, so that is uh, uh, the results of that class. It's a full 3D, okay? It's not solid piece. It's uh, uh, done in exactly the same way what the Glen Gibbons, 17th century carver, 
did exactly the same design what he did uh, all the movements all the flowers it's exactly the same thing okay so that's what we were working on uh, so now uh, don't forget please uh, if you do have a facebook or instagram or pinterest uh, just follow me okay at uh, Carver grabovetsky all right just to follow me please so now uh, let me give you an update uh, next year i'm gonna be back um, in uh, mark adams school uh, that would be markadams.com multiple times uh, i'm gonna have five workshops okay five uh, classes right there so make a note uh, those classes filling really quickly so make a note if you want to shake my hand or uh, if you want to learn a little bit uh, what i teach only in person because sometimes uh, it is impossible for me to do online what i'm teaching in person so that would be a good place to go uh, i'm gonna be in tampa next uh, year uh, that would be october end of october and beginning of november that is a good place to go if you really you know tired of cold weather and the november is beautiful place to be okay so you have to contact uh, right now because that school is kind of limited uh, spaces uh, main i'm gonna be in a main cost workshop uh, it's a williams brown school uh, uh, those classes already feeling i'm gonna be twice i'm gonna go there uh, two times next year uh, in june and i believe in august uh, but they filling already quickly so there's only a few spots left so you really have to contact uh, uh, william or bill brown right away pretty much and just to lock uh, the spot if 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 you want to uh, be with me in the same classroom and just uh, you know work on some project again uh, we did uh, in the main beautiful project also i like that that was uh, a main uh, class okay uh, in a williams brown class just about uh, like three weeks ago all right that was a uh, byzantine campus Okay, so I hope um, it covers it. And let me see. Let me see uh, on some of the comments. Clarissa, yes, it is beautiful mallet. I don't know which one of the. I mean, <laughs> I showed you a couple. Actually, I showed you three. So they all beautiful. But the new one is uh, really, really nice. Take a look. Isn't? It, I mean, it's just beautiful. It just has a wave and it's all turned so just like a signature one okay so again i'm not going to use it okay it's going to be just for my collection but i love it i love it right rustam samu staršumu 82 года uh rustam asked me in russian language what was the oldest person in that picture uh it was 82 years old Okay, I believe the oldest person was 82 years old. With all your teaching and carving projects, how do you have time for anything else? Uh, Ron, wonderful question. I canceled my class in August. I'm not going to teach this year in August. I, I'm not going to tell what school I'm supposed to be because I'm behind on my real life project. So this year I am not going to any school. Okay, I have to catch up on uh, the real life project. Uh, uh, in this case, that would be Venice room project or Venetian style wood carving. That's what I'm working on. Um, by the way, if you don't know what I'm working on, let me see if I'll be able to show that to you. Just a second, okay. So the project I am working on is this one. Okay, so that is a Venetian style carving. All right. Hope it, you know, few seconds uh, gonna show you the idea. Uh, now, as far as the school of woodcarving.com, that is the big difference. Uh, all of those projects pretty much not all of them but most of those projects most of those videos which is over 2500 videos based on a real life project okay real life project what i'm working on and i'm filming it is like i'm inviting you to my shop and you 
together with me working on that project, just watching me over shoulder. And I'm explaining what tool I'm taking, what tool I'm using and why I'm using it. Okay. And uh, after watching it, you will be able to work on your own pretty much even take a small sections of those uh, huge projects. Of course, I do have a small, uh, small projects right there too, uh, which is not the real life project. Uh, like uh, acanthus leaves and so on. I'm, uh, I'm teaching about uh, how to carve and the difference between the acanthus leaves and so on. So, so something like that. Okay, wonderful people. So I hope um, uh, it covers uh, today. I know it uh, not as long. Let me see how long I, I, I took. And maybe I missed some uh, question. So, uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna finish right now. Uh, maybe next week I'll be back. And uh, if you do have any questions, please, please just uh, write me email. I am trying to answer all of the emails. Uh, you don't have to contact me on a Facebook page because uh, most of the time I'm ignoring those uh, Facebook Messenger messages. Why is that? Because uh, I have so many people who's just writing me, Hi, hello, hi, hello, how you doing? Hi, and that's what they write. And uh, I, I'm not just going to waste my time on that, okay? Uh, if you have a specific question, just write me email, just go on a school site school of wood and uh, uh, write the menu okay you'll see you know uh, let's talk and just to fill that form and uh, I'll uh, I'll answer okay uh, and uh, I'll try to address that question I'll try in the best of my ability to answer that question and maybe in the live stream or maybe in one of the lessons on my uh, school site okay All right, wonderful people, have a really good rest of your day, so hope all is well with you, all right, and I'll finish it now, have a good one.